Yes. Hello, my name is Mark Morrow. I am the uh, chairperson for CAMTA, the Association of Medical Teams Abroad. Well, I'm John Lilly, and I'm uh, one of the original members of CAMTA, along with uh, my wife Eileen and Mark and Barb Morrow. Uh, I'm Matthew Morrow. I'm the travel coordinator for CAMTA. Um, I've been going, this will be my sixth year now. So I, uh, my parents obviously started the organization uh, in this house here, so I've been surrounded by it for 10, 12 years. Um, grew up uh, watching all my siblings go down, uh, my brother and sister-in-laws as well, and I was able to start helping out with some volunteer things, and then uh, when I think I turned 19 or 20, my parents let me come down for the first time, and uh, I've been loving it ever since, and I've been returning every year. So we're, we're planning a, a, a large expedition this year of uh, almost 100 people, I think there's 94 in all, 96, to uh, help uh, with the poor of uh, Ecuador. 80 to 90 percent of the individuals in uh, you know, in the, in, the, in the country are probably getting just uh, bare bones care. And Ecuador was picked because that was the first place we ever went to and we've never left. The people that live in North America and Europe are so very, very fortunate. We are uh, well endowed as nations with uh, wealth. Can you imagine the difference in the world if everybody here in North America went elsewhere to make a difference. So we go down with a team full of doctors, nurses, anesthetists, so forth. Um, we run a clinic on the first day that we arrive and essentially we pick the people who are in the worst condition. The people, uh, whether it's a father who's unable to go to work and provide for his family or a child who can't go to school or can't play soccer with his friends. Um, these people are selected and over the following week they receive uh, orthopedic surgery and from there we work with them throughout the week to re rehabilitate them um, and then following years when we return they come back um, we see them again during the, that, that an original clinic and uh, check up on them provide them any extra care that they need and uh, that's a really special time seeing them come back and seeing how much their life has changed over the past year um, people have been living with these injuries for up to 10 years that have like I say, they've been unable to work, they come back and their life is completely changed and they're able to provide for their families again. And, uh, kids are able to go back to school, kids are able to kick a soccer ball around with their friends and kind of reintegrate in society in a sense. So. so much trauma happens in the developing world. Motorbike accidents result in broken bones in fathers who need to be at work and if it's treated properly and quickly then they're back at work with less complications and more able to contribute to their families. But usually, usually we do about 40 uh, patients, uh, uh, adults and 40, 40 children. It's very powerful, the greeting that the patients waiting to be seen uh, provide to us as a greeting. They, 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 they cheer, they applaud, and uh, we walk into a very emotional reception. There's tears sometimes from our team members. We need, I mean, in some sense, we need ambassadors of our cause. And everyone that comes on this trip truly is that. So they're the people, they're the foot soldiers that are out there talking about the mission with their family, their friends, their co-workers. They're explaining the important work that we do. And in turn, those people, uh, you know, they donate supplies, they donate the money, which helps us fund the trip. Um, so those are, I mean, it's critical for us to have the people back here in North America who understand our mission and our vision with this organization that help us ultimately get down to Ecuador and provide this much needed surgical care. Well, first of all, I mean, each year we're delivering the mission work in Ecuador, the surgery, uh, we also have our sign nail system and all of this takes donations from people who understand that, that there, a difference can be made for Ecuadorians. Each mission is probably running in around $300,000. As far as how we raise it, uh, well, the, um, we have uh, uh, the situation where uh, each individual who comes along on the trip will have to raise their own expenses and it costs about $2,500 to get them down there to uh, have uh, the hotel and the transportation and food uh, uh, that, we, that we have down uh, you know, for, on a day-to-day -day basis for, for each member. 
We're very grateful to receive the support of Rotary organizations every year and Lions Clubs and also Smith and Nephew have been very generous in donating prostheses to our organization. They're a worldwide orthopedic supply company and they're, they're generous. We raise the money by uh, asking people and, uh, and uh, I also give uh, talks and as does John, Dr. John Lilly, my colleague, uh, we give talks at Rotary Clubs uh, and any, anybody who wants to listen to us and we tell our story which is how we help people who are in need and how we take these teams of individuals of, uh, and we go and do big operations down in conditions that, um, that are sometimes not totally ideal. We need help on a regular basis uh, packing bags at the warehouse. Um, the nurses pack up to 50, 60 hockey bags, 50 pounds each. That's, uh, that, that takes a long time, so the warehouse is an important thing. They're packing every Sunday right up until we leave. Um, people collecting supplies. Um, people just, as again, as I said, uh, you know, ambassadors talking about the cause and making people aware of what we're trying to achieve, which ultimately funds more money back into the organization, helps us uh, buy surgical equipment, uh, and work with the hospital down there, and get people to and from Ecuador. The individuals who we who we talk about this project to, when we we say to them, uh, you know, if you give to a project where you know that where your money's going, then I think it's good. And a lot of many people have said to that they understand clearly that their donations go to look after the people uh, down there in South America, who they could, pictures they see uh, on, a, on a blog that we have that shows them what's going on. And, um, and our, our, we, we, we truly have a, a volunteer society where the majority of what we do is, is through volunteer donation of people's time. Son unas lindas personas y Dios les pague por lo que me han salvado la vida volver a vivir y a caminar de nuevo. Gracias.